And so this is what we did. We said, we're going to train this. We're going to give our system uh, 10 million YouTube videos. But for the first experiment, we'll just pick out one frame from each video. And uh, so you sort of know what YouTube looks like. We're going to feed in all those images, and then we're going to ask it to represent the world. And so what happens? Well, this is YouTube, so there will be cats. <laughs> and what I have here is a representation of two of the top-level features. So the images come in, they're compressed, they're, uh, we build up representations of uh, what's in all the images, and then at the top level, some representations come out, these basis functions, these features that are representing the world. And the one on the, uh, the left here uh, is sensitive to cats. So these are the images that uh, most excite uh, this node in the network, the best matches to that node in the network. And the other one is a bunch of faces on the right. And then there's uh, you know, tens of thousands of these uh, nodes, and each one picks out a different subset of the images that it matches best. So one way to represent what is this feature is to say this one's cats and this one's people, although we never gave it the words cats and people. It's able to pick those out. We can also ask this uh, feature, this neuron or node in the network, uh, what would be the best possible picture that you would be uh, most excited about? And uh, by a process of mathematical optimization, we can come up with that picture. And here they are. Yeah. And maybe it's a little bit hard to see here, but uh, that looks like a cat pretty much, and that definitely looks like a face. So the system, just by observing the world without being told anything, has invented these concepts. Uh, and I could show you uh, a, a, a complex journal paper and so on, but actually this web comic explained it better than anything else. So go look that one up. Now, I should say, we call these things neural networks, but they aren't really uh, brains in any ways. Uh, some of it is motivated by things that we know about the brain. So the fact that there's these local receptive fields, uh, that there's columns that feed forward. We do this process of local contrast normalization, so uh, pictures that have different uh, lighting are uh, kind of normalized. Uh, but we're not trying to duplicate what's going on in the brain. We're just sort of motivated by it. And this is a, from a different set of inputs, not YouTube Im images. This is a standard set of uh, 16 million images. And they were all clustered together. And these are the types of things that come out. So you can see some of what the system is doing is picking out textures, like small circles. Some of what it's doing is picking out uh, lines, like uh, diagonal lines, uh, shapes, like circles, but also higher level concepts, like uh, flowers, and ducks, and zebras, and wine bottles, and pizza, and so on. So it's doing a very good job of separating the world out into the types of concepts that are important to us. 